I'm here. McKenna Toronto. Yeah. Morgan Rouser. Hello, I'm here. Robert Pulowski. Present. Joseph Osborne. Here. Rishi Kumar. Uh, present. Did you get Karis Robinson? Yes, thank you. Kavya Kishamurthy. Sorry if I mispronounce your last name. Here. Kiara Johnson. Here. Janine Jackson. Here. Madison McDonald. Here. Zion McCann. Here. Maneed Mahmood. Here. Jada Lipskin. Here. Rachel Henderson. Here. Shakari Fleming Brown. Here. Kelly Cox. Here. Thomas Bissek. Present. We have a quorum present. Moving to item B, administer oath of office. Okay, and we have another member that is present. I was muted. <laughs> uh, Sarah, Sa is it Salem? Salem in here. Oh, okay, she is here. Uh, if you can document uh, that she was here, this is Commissioner's uh, Baydoon appointee. All right. Next item, Madam Clerk. I believe the next item is our oath uh, for the Youth Council. Uh, you should have received a copy of it and I believe the clerk has a copy uh, to display. Can you display a copy of the oath of office and what I would like uh, each member to do is just read the oath and after I you will say your name and raise your right hand as soon as we get the oath up. Commissioner Baker McCormick, I don't have the oath of office. I'm not sure if Nairobia has it, but she has screen sharing capabilities. Okay. Well, let's, uh, okay, great. If Nairobia, there it is. Thank you so much. So we will start uh, by reading the oath of office. And again, as stated, after I, you say your name and then you read the oath. So raise your right hand. All right, and go right ahead and we can get started. I, say your name. McKenna. I, Shakari. I, Zion. I, Thomas Bessick. I, I, Morgan. I, Sarah. I, I, of the Wayne County Commission of Wayne County Commission Youth Council. The duties of my membership. And honestly, my very best to be an example for At all times, we give full and keep it and throughout life, I will strive to uphold the motto, create, you realize success. Create opportunity and realize success. That is the goal of the Wayne County Commission Youth Council is that we, each day that we live on this earth, we create opportunity for ourselves and then we realize the success. That is our motto. So now we'll move to the next item, Madam Clerk. So 
So we will move to opening invocation, which is the next item. So what we traditionally have done is we have selected a youth council member to give a invocation uh, on opening uh, our, our opening meeting. Uh, and you have the opportunity to continue on to give a invocation or prayer at the beginning of each commission youth council meeting. Um, so if we have anyone that would like to volunteer to give a prayer and basically is as simple as you would like it to be um, and anyone uh, that would like to give a prayer. Anyone just speak up if you would like to. Question. Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's just like a simple like prayer. As like simple. Church. That's right. As simple as okay, you I can, like. I will. And who are, uh, who's speaking? Oh, Janine Jackson. All right. And Janine Jackson, can you tell us a little bit about yourself before you give the prayer. Oh, um, hi, I'm Janine. I'm a junior at Thurston and I'm Where Thurston? Huh? Where is Thurston? Oh, Thurston is in South Redford. Okay, that is Southwest Redford, Wayne County. All right, thank you so much, Miss Jackson, for um, agreeing to do our prayer. Go right ahead. Okay. Thank you, Lord, for allowing us to be here today and blessing us all with this opportunity. We thank you and we praise you and we hope with this opportunity comes more opportunities. We pray that you lead us down the path to success. And Jesus, now pray. Amen. 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 You. Thank you Amen. so much. You're welcome. Thank you for that prayer. All right, we will move to the next items, uh, which is the approval of the minutes from our last meeting, which was April 12th. Is there a motion for approval of the minutes, which you should have already received to review? Um, Nairobi, do you have the minutes to display very quickly? Just so uh, they can see. And by the way, I want to introduce to you all, uh, I am Wayne County Commissioner, Monique Baker McCormick. I am one of the sponsors of this youth council as well as other commissioners. Uh, but I uh, envisioned this youth council um, and I am the administrator along with Nairobi Mitchell, who is on, can you say a few words, Nairobi, so they can see you right quick. Hello, um, nice to meet you all. I'm the youth coordinator for the Wayne County Commission Youth Council and I'll be working close with you all this year through all the activities and programs we do. If you guys have any questions about any events or if I call you guys to give you a reminder for our upcoming events, our meeting or what you will need to have to be ready for those events, you will come to me. I also email you guys off the Wayne Youth 2020 email. So those emails are also for me as well. So if you guys have any questions or concerns, you can always let me know and I'll be there to answer them. All right. Thank you, Nairobi. All right. Did you have the minutes? Um, we, we also email them to everyone as well, right? The minutes, I don't believe, from my understanding, I don't think they were emailed. Um, I don't okay, they, they were second. emailed um, visa Wayne County. So you may not have 
email them directly, but Wayne County should have. Is that correct, okay. Amina? Yes, the minutes were a part of the agenda package. Package, okay. Can I get a motion from one of the members from last year? Motion uh, to approve the minutes. Thank you. I, second, been, I support the right. motion. It's been supported or seconded. So uh, all those in favor, say aye. 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 Any I don't hope. believe I got them right. in my email. Oh, okay. We will get them to you, okay, for whoever okay. did not receive them. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, and anyone opposed to that motion? All right. Motion passed. Next item. And the next item that we have on the agenda is the program overview code of conduct. Thank you. All right. So I introduce myself as Wayne County Commissioner Monique Baker McCormick. Um, one of the reasons that I presented the resolution to start the Wayne County Commission to my fellow colleagues on the Wayne County Commission is because I believe that our youth, you are our future, and we have to invest more uh, and empower you to do more. And so this, that's what the Wayne County Commission is about. It's making sure that you have the resources to lead and to be the best leaders in your field, whatever that is that you decide to go into in life be it uh, politics or um, it, if you wanna be an athlete, if you want to be a surgeon, uh, a lawyer, whatever it is, we want to help you build that confidence and empower you. And also the most important thing is to let you know that you do have a voice. You have a voice in what happens in our community, uh, or for that matter, what does not happen. Because if you say nothing about what's going on in your community, then nothing will happen differently. So we want you and we want to empower you to be the leaders in your community. That's all we're here to do um, is to ensure that you have the tools that's needed. Um, and before we move into the full overview, what I would like you to do is go over the code of conduct. And uh, I believe we did send that to you, Amina, or, or uh, Nairobi, if you can display it for uh, just a minute. And then after that, you can display the county map so that they can see the full uh, Wayne County government. And you should have received this code of conduct. This is very important and it's key to ensuring that we treat each other with respect and with dignity, no matter what your beliefs are. We have to respect each other. And I think we all can see what's been going on in, in politics today, in life today. It, there's a lack of respect for each other. And when there is a lack of respect, it, everything breaks down. Um, so we wanna ensure that we go over this code of conduct. Um, Nairobi, and maybe Amina can put it up, pull it up for us, because it looks like there's some issue. I'm not sure. I thought Amina, I was sharing it this whole time, so I can nope. try to reshare my screen one second. I didn't see it. Did anyone else see it? I didn't see the code of conduct. Okay. All right, it looks like it's doing something this time. Thank you, all right. So um, as you 
know by now our motto again is create opportunity, realize success, because we believe that you are the crafter of your life, right? So you create whatever it is you want to be, do, or have. You are the creator. So it's create opportunity. You can create opportunity for yourself every day by the actions that you do. Um, you can do things that will help you and propel you, or you can do things that cause you problems in your life. So it's about creating opportunity and then you realize success. That is our motto. And I want you to feel that and preach that as you move forward in the Wayne County Commission. The code of conduct. If you can just briefly read it over, but the gist of it is to make sure that you're friendly, you're law abiding, that you respect each other, you respect your environment and all those uh, around you. Uh, you uh, love where you live, you keep it clean, uh, you don't use uh, obscenities and vulgar language, um, no drugs, you know, smoking, of course, no weapons. Um, you are a leader and you are the reason that we're here because we want to make sure that you lead in the future and that you are also bringing up other leaders, right? Um, you're not disruptive. Uh, you're not doing anything that's unsafe to yourself or others. We make sure that we dress respectfully at all times. Whenever we're in a meeting, we dress like we're in a meeting. Uh, when we have any functions uh, outside of Zoom, where you're in the community, you want to uh, represent yourself well in the Wayne County Commissioners. So you, of course, don't want, you know, too short of skirts and, you know, don't want, you know, anything hanging out that shouldn't be hanging out. We want people to respect us. So. That is basically the gist of this document is to make sure that you know that we are here to love on one another, no matter what your race is or where you come from or your background. We treat each other with dignity and respect. All right. So that was the code of conduct. Can you pull up the district map, uh, the Wayne County map, I should say. And while the map is displayed, I just want to give you a brief overview of Wayne County uh, and Wayne County government. Um, as I stated, um, I sponsored the resolution, which a resolution is just a document that says here is the problem and here is the solution or here is a, a, a law or effort that I want to push forward and here is a solution. And so this is what I envisioned uh, and other commissioners, my colleague, agreed that we wanted and we wanted to make sure that we uh, supported our young people and empowered them to be the best leaders that they can be. Um, the Youth Council is in its third term, and I want to congratulate each and every one of you on stepping up to be a part of making a difference in your community because you represent the area in which you live. As you can see from the map, there are 15 different commissioners that's, that represent 
15 different communities all over Wayne County. And as you can see, our district goes out, you know, Plymouth Township and on the other side is Gross Eel, Gross Point, um, Brockwood, uh, Sumner Township. All of those are areas in which we cover in Wayne County. And again, there's 15 different commissioners that re represent 15 different communities in Wayne County. Um, and the commissioners can appoint two appointees and I also have the ability to appoint additional Wayne County Commission Youth Council members. Um, but each of you were selected and appointed by a commissioner. And let me read all of the commissioners to you. The chair of the Wayne County Commission is Alicia Bell. Then there is Commissioner Palomera, who is the vice chair. There's Commissioner Sam Baydoon, who is the vice chair pro tem. Then we have uh, Commissioner Colleen, Commissioner Kenlock, Commissioner Clark Coleman, Commissioner Knizik, uh, Marecki, Commissioner Dobb, Commissioner uh, Haddis, Anderson, and Commissioner Basham. And oh, I miss uh, Commissioner Varga and Commissioner Scott. Those are all of the 15 different commissioners that spread out in uh, a vast area of Wayne County. I have a question. Yes. And, and I will have, actually, let me get through with uh, my presentation. Beautiful. Yep, and then we'll take questions, okay? Um, the 15 commissioners, what we do as commissioners is we ensure that all of the resources in Wayne County are being provided to our constituents. There are about a, a one, 1.7 million residents that we represent in Wayne County. And our budget that we appropriate funds and make sure that the budget is balanced every year is $1.8 billion, $1.8 billion. Most of our money and, and uh, the dollars that we spend or uh, appropriate in Wayne County is spent on jails, roads, and parks. And we run the various departments, uh, or I shouldn't say run, but we have oversight over uh, certain uh, departments like the Wayne County Prosecutor's Office, the Wayne County uh, Sheriff's Office, um, the uh, Wayne County Treasurer, Wayne County Register of Deeds, the Circuit Courts, and the Probate Courts. In addition, we are the check and balance. Uh, I know most of you know about uh, City Council versus the Mayor setup. Well, that's kind of what we are. Uh, we're the City Council, or we're the board that makes sure that the Mayor um, is doing everything that he can or she can to run a city or run, for this instance, Wayne County. Um, so that's what we do. We're the oversight and we make sure that everything runs efficiently and effectively in Wayne County. Um, our Wayne County Youth Council, as I say, this is our third year. And we have meetings every fourth Thursday, unless uh, otherwise um, changed for whatever reason, like some of the holiday meetings, uh, we uh, change the dates and time, but for the most part, we try to meet on the fourth Thursday each and every month at six o'clock. 
Uh, and what we try to do is we rotate uh, meetings on Zoom as well as some meetings in the community. Because we are revving up for our advocacy day, at the end of our last meeting in April, uh, we committed and uh, the youth council members committed to a gun reform resolution, uh, which was submitted to uh, the state of Michigan and uh, adopted by the Wayne County Commission. We wanted to continue that effort. And so what we committed to is having an advocacy day in Lansing. So we're going to have a couple of meetings that will build up to that advocacy day. Um, so this year is going to be a little bit different because we, we want to prepare for that day in Lansing, which I will discuss a little bit um, further into our meeting. All right, so what I would like to do is take any questions that we have, and then I'm going to let Nairobi go over the tentative schedule for the year. Again, this is tentative. Uh, it is not set in stone. Some of the dates are, most of the dates are, but there could be some changes. We also will have parent meetings so that your parents can understand what we're doing and how we're doing it. And we need to get their permission uh, for some of the activities that we will have. Uh, let's see, did I go over? I think I got everything that I needed to talk about so far. So, um, Nairobi, we will have you go over the tentative schedule. If there are, are there any questions? Did I answer the question? That, no, uh, um, I have the question. Sure. What did the commissioners look for when looking for people to select, kids to select? Okay, did you, uh, and I'm sorry, who's speaking? I can't tell. It's McKenna. Um, I oh. just want to know, like, did they, did they look at grades? Did they look at how they did in the community? How, how did that, how, what factored into picking us? Right, so... Each commissioner gets at the application, which all of you should have received and completed. Is that correct, right? Everyone got an application. They completed the application. Uh, they had to submit uh, a, um, uh, a supportive documentation, right? From a member of the community, a uh, recommendation, a letter of recommendation letter. They also had to submit an essay, which the, uh, is divided into uh, two parts, basically an essay, a, a, a part where you tell what three issues are important to you, and then another part that you just tell us why this is the most important issue, whatever issue you, you choose. At that point, the commissioners that receive their applications, they will then pick and choose which youth council members they want to be a part. It's, it's totally up to the commissioner to choose. Okay, does that answer the question? Yeah, thank you. Okay, it, it sounds like you had you sure did that, McKenna? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. You answered my question. Okay, great. Okay. Any other? I also have a question. Sure. Mm -hmm. Hi, my name is Karis, and um, back to the Karis. What's her last name, please? Robinson. Larson. Robinson. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. great. Yes, and back to the minutes document that I didn't receive in my email. I was just mm -hmm. wondering if I can get sent that before the meeting is over. 
Uh, yes, Nairobi. If you can, um, yeah. matter of fact, if you can, yeah, I wanted to, to all add. Of them. Yep, just all yeah, of so them. on the agenda, after I looked at the email that was sent to you all, the minutes is attached. So on the agenda you receive, you have to keep scrolling. There's two more attachments to those two attachments at the very bottom. So you have to keep scrolling to the bottom and there will be the last meeting's minutes available. So if you check your attachments and just look at it one more time, everyone has those minutes from the last meeting. So, yeah. Okay. okay. Any any other questions before we move on? All right, we'll go over the minutes and then we'll uh, go to the next item, which will be introduction of the members. Um, can you mute whoever is speaking? Okay, um, we'll go over the tentative schedule, Nairobi will, and then we will introduce each of the members. Be ready to uh, just tell us your name, your school, your commissioner, uh, and uh, what you would like, if you would like to run for office, which office you would like to run for. And then those members that want to run, be prepared to just give a two minute summary about why you would like to be in that particular uh, position or why you're the best candidate, I should say, for that particular position. All right, Nairobi, go right ahead. And Nairobi, before you move on, can you just tell a brief summary about yourself? Thank you. Okay, hello everyone. I'm Nairobi Mitchell. I went to Cass Tech for my high school, um, year, uh, for my high school years. I graduated from Cass Tech and I graduated from Michigan State with a BA in criminal justice. Um, I've been working with the Wayne County Commission Youth Council for a year now. This will be my second year and um, I work for a law firm as well. So my background is mostly in law. That's what I wanna pursue. Um, and I guess that's a little bit about me, but yeah, I'm about to present that schedule to go over with you guys. So this is your schedule, your tentative schedule for this year. You all should have received this in your email. Um, we sent an original copy with your congratulatory letter, but we also made a few adjustments and it's been resent out to you guys in the reminder email for this meeting today. So everyone should have this schedule. If you don't have it, send me a message in the chat of the Zoom and then I can send it out to you. Um, but you all should have received this. So on this tentative schedule, all our meetings usually are from 6 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. if they're via Zoom. And then we have also dates where we meet in person and go to events and have different activities. So the first item on our tentative schedule is today's meeting, which is the Zoom meeting. Um, we pretty much are doing all these things right now. We will, in a minute, begin our elections. Um, for chair, vice chair, secretary, and so on. Um, and then we also have our next meeting coming up very soon, which is October 21st. That will be from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. at Wayne State University campus. Uh, we'll have a special advocacy training session and also you will receive your YCYC t-shirts and those shirts will be the shirts that you guys will wear for the remaining of the program. Whenever we have events, you will wear those t-shirts. So make sure you guys are here for this event so you can receive your shirt. Um, so that will be 5.30 to 7.30. Our next event is October 27, 2022. Um, that will be just a parent meeting for all you guys' parents so that they can meet us and they can get an overview of our program for the entire year where you guys will need to be with time and transportation for these events. So we need to make sure that your parents are at this meeting at 6.30, October 27th. You have to let them know in advance so that they're able to schedule with their busy schedules that they're able to come. Um, 
November 10th, this is a very important day. We need you all here for this day. That is our Michigan Capitol Lansing trip. We're going to have a gun reform advocacy day and a tour of the Michigan State Capitol. Lunch will be provided for this trip. We will provide transportation via bus for this trip. This, this day will take place from 8 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. So we will pretty much be in Lansing all day. It's supposed to be a special trip for you guys where you guys get this experience and get to learn more about gun reform and how to advocate for it. So that's November 10th, 8 a.m. to 5.30. Make sure you guys have all this in your calendar and you're prepared for these events. Our next meeting via Zoom will be November 17th, 2022 at 6 p.m. So that is typically our regular meeting, which will be in via Zoom at the top, as it says, 6 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. We'll have a guest speaker, which will be Sam o Olson. He has a Corab lobbying firm and also give us more insight on that. And also we have our 10 minute speaker, speaker series is what we call whenever we have a guest speaker, we call it 10 minute speaker series where we have someone come and talk to you all give insight and they speak for 10 minutes and then we allow you guys to ask questions as well while they're there and then also at that meeting we'll, we will discuss topics for our resolution this year so as you guys see um last year we discussed gun reform um for our resolution so that's why a lot of we are implementing a lot of um, reform this year in activity so that we're able to put to action what we want to resolve. So this year, you guys will create a new resolution of what you want to solve in your communities or what problems you feel you guys are having mostly that you want to see change in in your community. And that will be a resolution this year. And then we will begin to create advocacy for whatever that resolution will be. So that is this meeting, November 17th, is where you guys will choose what that resolution is and we come to an agreement. December 17th, that is our special holiday meeting. This will be at the DIA. We will have a luncheon. We will have a special guest speaker and we will have a book reading. Uh, our book this year is The Richest Man in Baby Line. So that will be our book we're reading. This will be from 12 p.m. to 3 p.m. So make sure you have this in your calendars. December 20th, we will have a movie night. So this is to be determined, which means that closer to the day, we will be able to provide you guys with the address, with the time and the movie we will be watching. And we will be able to let you know where to meet when it will be over and things as, as such. So as that day gets closer to this schedule will be adjusted and it will be sent out to you. So you will have this information for movie night. And, and Nairobi, so, add, um that for the movie night is actually a date, uh, a day and movie that you are going to choose the youth council so it's going to be up to you guys what movie night looks like uh where you want to go what area and uh and all of that so that's going to be on you to decide okay our next event we have is january 26 2023 that will be our typical Zoom meeting, which will be from 6 p.m. to 7.30. And in this meeting, we will vote on the youth initiative topic is due. Um, we will have more book reading and then we'll have our 10 minute speaker series and then also MSU Extension will come speak. Our next meeting is February 23rd, which is another Zoom meeting. We will have a guest speaker. And then also at this meeting, our resolution is due. So you guys will have time before this where you come together and we're going to have meetings where we just speak for at least an hour to get assignments of everyone and what part they will play in creating the resolution. So that will be you guys' job on your own to be able to draft this resolution together, come together with your topic and who will do which portion of these resolution. And so then it will be due to present to us February 23rd. And then we will get to see what you guys have done and what you want, what change you want implemented and how that will be implemented into your communities. So that's February 23rd. March 23rd, that is our another movie night, which will be a fun night for you guys where you get to pick a movie. Um, this will be from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. And we will 
find out more information as we get closer to that date on what movie you guys want to see and where this will take place. April 2023, that is our very important day where you guys are going to present your resolution in the commissioner chambers and you also get to tour the commissioner chambers at the Guardian building downtown. So this day is very important because this is where you guys get to show all your commissioners of each of your communities what you guys have put together for the change you guys want to implement. You will get to read it to them. They'll get to hear your concerns. They'll get to hear how you want to implement the change. And they'll get to take into consideration all the things you guys have said and that you put your time and work into throughout the duration of this program. So and that will be in- April. Oh, yes. Um, I just wanted to add. Also, um, you are supposed to reach out to your commissioners as well uh, to just set up a meeting with them, to get the, to know them, uh, maybe attend some uh, of their meetings and um, just really get to know your commissioner. So it's going to be on you to do that. And we're going, going to provide you with all of that information uh, to reach out to them. Okay. All right. Our next meeting will be May, 2023 at 9 a.m. We will have a community service project cleanup. This begins at 10 a.m., but you will have to report and be there at 9 a.m. You will wear your YCYC shirts for this event and We will get more information as we get closer to the date on the exact location you guys will be meeting at. May 2023, later on in that month, we will also have a Tigers game night. That will usually be at 4, 10 p.m. And you guys will wear your YCYC polo shirts for this event as well. And then our very last event is June 2023. And that will be your completion ceremony at the Detroit Riverfront at Port Authority. This will be at 3 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. And this will also be where we discuss the summer intern opportunities for members. And you guys will get more information on that as well. Um, In the future, we have one more pair meeting that will be closer towards the next year, which will be April 2023 via Zoom at 6.30. And so that will also be something you should put on your parents' radar so that they are where we will have a meeting next year again for just them so they can get updates on what will be coming up for that for the next few months in the program. So does anyone have any questions about this schedule? Any concerns? I'll go back to the top so you guys can see what's coming up soon for the next few months. Okay. Well, if you guys don't have any questions, I guess we can move on to the next item on the agenda. Mm -hmm. I have a question. Uh, Yes. Okay, so at these meetings that's in person, are parents supposed to be there? Um, no, parents are not required for in-person meetings, but if a parent wants to be present at a meeting, we, it's not, you know, it's not against any rules or anything. Okay, thank you. Okay. I also have a question as well. Yes. So for all of our meetings, will we be required to wear um, formal slash business wear? Um, So each meeting is different. Um, So I feel like you should always be dressed in a professional way for meetings where we don't have you supposed to wear your your YCYC shirts. So, for example, the Wayne State University meeting, it says you receive your shirts that day. So, of course, you can wear them that day. Um, when you get them. Um, The Michigan Capital Lansing trip, you will be required to wear your shirt because that's a professional trip. Um, Things such as um, like the Commissioner Chambers meeting, that's when you will wear professional wear. Um, Zoom meetings, those you're not required to wear your shirts because you're at home. and then movie nights, Commissioner, are, are they required to wear their shirts on movie night or? Um, that- no, no. Uh, movie night. Uh, also, 
I don't see that we talked about roller skating or bowling. So you guys can also have other uh, activities that you want to plan, but no, you wouldn't have to dress in any certain way on those uh, occasions where you're out in the just having fun. But any other time you want to dress professionally or you can wear your polo shirts. Okay, does anyone have any other questions or concerns? All right, thank you so much, Nairobia. We will move on to our next item, which is introduction, introduction of members. Yes, thank you, Madam Clerk. Um, and Madam Clerk, by the way, can you introduce yourself and tell the members of the Wayne County Commission Youth Council your role in Wayne County? So she can't at the moment. Your clerk will be Amina Spivey. She's, okay. I'm Pamela. I'm the director of the department. Oh, Amina will I be your clerk. You were, I thought he was here. Okay. Well, can yes. you tell your role, <laughs> Madam Madam Clerk, the, the Madam Clerk of the commission? I am the acting clerk for the Wayne County Commission as well as the director of policy research and analysis. My office prepares analysis for the commissioners of all of the contracts that come through for approval. We clerk the minutes and we are the official record keepers for the Wayne County Commission. All right, thank you. And she does a lot, a lot more than what she's just stated. <laughs> she's just awesome and fabulous. And uh, thank you, I don't know, we, we, I don't know what we would do without her, but she keeps us um, organized and in order. So thank you so much, uh, Ms. Lane. Mm -hmm. All right, so um, we are moving on to the introduction of our new members. And I wanna congratulate all of you for stepping up and being a part of the Wayne County Commission Youth Council. This is your commission. Uh, once we have these elections, you guys take the, you know, the whole leadership role and you make it work for you. You make it make things happen for you. We're here to assist you and to help you, but it is yours. Like I said, any activities, extracurricular, the movies, those things are yours, but we're here to guide you. So I just want to uh, start with introductions. Um, and Nairobia, can you just do the quick uh, roll call and just go through everyone's um, name and uh, then they let them do their part. And if you are interested in running for an office, please uh, state so after you introduce yourself. Again, just real short and uh, sweet, your name, your school, if you know your commissioner, uh, and if you would like to uh, be in a leadership role. Are we saying why we would like to run? Or yes, um, not, not right now. We're, we're just doing basic introductions and then you tell us if you are interested in running and then we'll take note. Then after everybody gets through introducing themselves, then we'll come back around to the folks that said they were interested and then you get a chance to do a two, no more than two minutes about why you're the best candidate for that position. Okay, thank you. All right. All right. First one on the list is okay. Thomas. And and your screen is thinking again, I think. So one second I have to reshare it. And I want to welcome back all of the members 
uh, from last year, or it might be someone from the very first year. Uh, let's start with the members, and if they had a title, let them introduce themselves first from last year. And so, okay. can I you see my you're... screen? Nope, we still can't see it. I can see it. Um, I can see it. I can see it. Oh, okay. I can see, see it. it okay, everybody can see it then. I, it's my screen. Um, okay. So go, go right ahead and start with the members from last year. Okay, from last year, the first person I will introduce will be Kavya. She was secretary last year. Hi, everyone. I'm Kavya, Kavya Keshwamurthy. Um, I'm a senior at Plymouth High School. I, um, I represent Commissioner Dobbs District 10, and I will be running for the chair this year. Okay. Do you want to, at, at this point, are they given their two minutes? Or no, no, after they introduce okay, okay. themselves, we'll come back around. Okay, gotcha. Okay. Um, also, I want to introduce Dierra Searles. She was vice chair last year. Good evening. My name is Dierra Searles. I'm a senior at CAS. This is my third year in this council, and um, I'm in District 5, and my co commissioner is Jonathan Kinlock. And I'm running for, I'm running for chair. Okay. Um, next person I want to introduce is McKenna Tarango. She was our social media chair last year. Hi, everyone. My name is McKenna. Um, I'm a senior at Huron High School. I represent Al Haidis, uh, District 11, and I'm interested in running for social media chair again. Okay. And now I believe that's everyone who was in the executive board positions last year. So now I'm just going to go through the remaining returning members from last year. So the next person is Thomas. Hello, everyone. I'm Thomas Besick. I am from District 13, which is San Bay Dune. And I'm um, uh, 11th grader at Dearborn High School, and I'm running for chair this year. Oh, we got a lot of chairs. Okay. The next person is Shakari Fleming Brown. Hello. Should I turn my camera on? Um, it doesn't if if you want to ask a few people who don't. Um, okay. Uh, hey everyone, my name is Shakari uh, Fleming Brown. I'm a senior at the school Mary Girl. My name is Okay, the next person we have is Monique Mahmoud. Um, hi, my name is Monique Mahmoud. I'm a senior at Kent High School. My commissioner is Melissa Dobb. Um, I'm from District 10, and I'm interested in running for the position of vice chair. Okay, the next person we have is Zion. Hello everyone, my name is Zion McCann. I'm a junior at Cass Technical High School. I'm under David Knizic in District 8 and I am also running for vice chair. Okay. Um, next person we have is Madison McDonald. Hello everybody, my name is Madison McDonald. I am in District 8. I go to an office high school in different heights. Uh, this is my second time, and I do not have an interest in running in a chair right now. Thank you. Okay. And then I believe that's everyone from last year. So now I'm just going to go through the new incoming members for this year. So the first person I have is Kelly Cox. Hello, everybody. I'm Kelly Cox. I'm a sophomore at Cass Tech. Um, and I'm not interested in running for any roles this year. Okay, Rachel Henderson. Um, hi, my name is Rachel Henderson. Um, I'm a senior at Huron High School, and I'm not I'm interested in running for anything this year. Okay, and we have Jada. 
Hi, everybody. I'm a sophomore at Renaissance High School. Um, I'm in District 1, and my commissioner is Tim Killeen, and I'm not interested in running anything for this year. Okay, we have Janine Jackson. Hi, I'm Janine Jackson. I'm a junior at Thurston High School. I'm under Sam Bay Dune in District 13, and I'm not interested in running for any roles this year. Okay, we have Kiera Johnson. Hello, my name is Kiera Johnson. I am a sophomore at Renaissance High School. My district is District 6. My commissioner is Monique Baker McCormick, and I'm not interested in running for anything at this time. Okay, and next we have Rishi Kumar. Hi, my name is Rishi Kumar. Uh, I'm a junior at Markle High School representing District 9, um, and I'd be interested in running for secretary. Okay. Next person we have is Joseph Osborne. Hello, everyone. My name is Joseph Osborne. I'm a senior at U Prep Science and Math High School. I'm in District 5, and my commissioner is Jonathan Kinlock, and I have no interest in running this year. Okay, the next person we have is Robert Pawlowski. Good evening, everyone. My name is Robert Pawlowski. I represent District 15, Joseph Palomera. I'm a senior at Southgate Anderson High School, and I am interested in running for the chair position this year. You said next year? Uh, this year. Okay, okay, got you. Let me... Okay, and the next person is Karis Robinson. Hi, my name is Karis Robinson Larsosa. Um, I'm in the 11th grade. I go to the school at Mary Grove. I live in Detroit. Um, my commissioner is Alicia Bell, and I am interested in running for social media chair this year. Okay. Next person we have is Morgan Rouser. Hello, everyone. Good evening. My name is Morgan Rouser. I'm in the 10th grade. I go to um, Lee M. Thurston High School. And at this time, I'm not interested in any position. Okay. And then the next person we have is Sarah Salmon. Hello, I'm Sarah. I go to Edsel Ford High School. Um, commissioner, commissioner is Sam Baidun. And I'm not running for anything this year. Okay. The next item on our agenda is elections. Okay. So again, congratulations to all of the members, and welcome back to the new mem uh, the former members. Um, and De'Ara, um, you have been here the full time and I just wanna congratulate you and commend you on that. Uh, you were here when we started the commission, uh, the youth commission, and you will be here as a senior. Um, so that's um, all I can say is job well done. Thank you. All right, um, so let's start with the elections. It looks like for, let's start with the chair because I'm going to hand over the meeting to the chair um, after this election. So we have, it looks like, um, can you read off the chair? Yeah, I will, I will read it off. Okay. So for chair, you want me to read off each position who's all running? No, just just for the chair. We're gonna do okay. the chair first, and we'll have uh, you can do it in alphabetical order. Call their name, and then they will then do their um, speech. Uh, we probably need a timer, um, two minutes of why you are the best candidate to represent the Wayne County Commission Youth Council? That's the question. Uh, as the chair, why will you represent the Youth Council the best? And it is on the members that are in the meeting to vote. Uh, we'll vote after 
each person has made their speech. Just keep in mind who you would like. And then we will take a vote on um, all of the individuals at one time, uh, a hand vote, whoever gets the most votes wins. Any questions about the process? All right, so go right ahead, Nairobi, with the first candidate for chair. Okay, um, for alphabetical order, the first person will be Thomas Bes Besick for chair. Hello, everyone. Uh, again, my name is Thomas Besick, and I'm from District 13. And I believe I have the leadership qualities necessary to be the chair of this uh, I'm sorry, before you go on, can it? It's breaking up. I can't hear you. Can we spotlight the the roles? The, the whoever is speaking. Can we spotlight oh. somehow? Um, I don't have control. Yeah. Yeah. So if I stop sharing my screen, whoever talks will be on the screen. Right. So that is what I would like to do. So everybody can see the person who's speaking. All right. Um, so All again, right. I'm Thomas okay. Besick from District 13, and I believe I have the leadership qualities necessary to be the chair of this council. I have had many leadership roles in my school career. In addition to serving a full term on this council, I am a current member of the Dearborn Public Schools Superintendent Student Advisory Council, which is a committee which kind of oversees the superintendent at, from like a student point of view and um, gives important feedback to improve district operations and initiatives. Within that council, I've been handpicked by the superintendent to serve as a leader on the council. And um, he's actually referred me to the state superintendent's student advisory council, so I can be a member there and kind of carry on what I've been doing in the district statewide. Um, as a junior, which is this year, I have been selected as head and only drum major in the Dearborn High Marching Band. The drum major is the head leadership role in the band. And it's usually reserved for seniors, so it's really an honor for me to have it. And which includes many leadership qualities like delegating, um, just delegating tasks to others, um, having control of different um, things going on around you. And um, before becoming drum major, I actually attended a drum major camp at Michigan State University where I was taught new leadership school, uh, new leadership skills, which include, like I said, delegating different things and communicating, which really helped me in this position and if I were to be chair. Um, so I am an active um, member of the Dearborn High Thespian Troop, which is theater. And I, in that, I am the Dearborn Area Theater Association representative for the school. And while all these things are going on, I still maintain a 4.3 GPA. I have no doubt I have all the qualities necessary to lead this group as your chair. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Moving on, our next person running for chair will be Kavya Cash Murphy. I don't know if I'm saying it correctly. That's okay, it's pretty close. <laughs> Can you all hear me okay? I yes, can we can hear you. Hi, I'm Kavya. Oh, okay, I'll just get Hi, I'm Kavya, and I'm a senior at Plymouth High School. I represent Commissioner Dobbs District 10, and this is my second year on the Youth Council. Last year, I was elected as a secretary, and I would take minutes and write the agenda for every meeting. I worked very closely with the chair, Kirtana, and learned a lot about the roles and responsibilities of the chair position. Using the ideas and information put together by the rest of the council, the chair and I wrote the final draft of our resolution on gun violence in schools and presented it to the Wayne County Commission last March. I continued this work by speaking about the resolution to my school board in June. I have spoken on several local news channels, got to work alongside other incredible, motivated young people, and met several inspiring local leaders through the WCCYC, which is why I was eager to be a member again this year. Through this council, I also got the opportunity to intern with Commissioner Dobb, and I have learned a lot about how local government works and how significant its impact is in our, on our lives. For that internship, I am helping organize a women's empowerment event to raise awareness on racial disparities in prenatal health care that will take place next week. 
I also interned with a law firm over the summer, which helped me learn more about the legal process. There's also other leadership experience that I would like to touch on. As a sophomore, I attended the Michigan Youth Leadership Conference at MSU, and I have been volunteering with this organization since then. My responsibilities as a volunteer were to attend the conferences this past summer as a mentor for new sophomore attendees, as well as log at least 100 service hours between May of 2021 and May of 2022. I raised over $1,500 for this organization, and I was also selected to be the regional delegate for the Wayne Washtenaw County region for this next year. I am also the chapter head for the local March for Our Lives chapter, which is a national student-led nonprofit dedicated to fighting gun violence through organizing and raising awareness. We have hosted multiple voter registration drives, youth outreach events, and mobilized in front of the Michigan Capitol building to challenge our legislators to take action. In school, I am the captain of my Science Olympiad team, which I have been since the 10th grade. I am also a member of National Honor Society and the Director of Community Service for IB Student Council. I'm also a member of the varsity debate team and varsity tennis team. Um, while doing all of these events, I have still managed to maintain a 4.4 GPA in school and I'm the top ranked student at my school. All of these activities and experiences have made me develop important leadership and communication skills that would help me in this position. And I will be honored to be elected as your 2022-23 Wayne County Commission Youth Council Chair. Thank you. Okay, next person for chair is Robert Kowalski. Thank you so much. Again, my name is Robert Pulowski. I represent District 15, Joseph Palomari's district. Uh, like I said, I'm a senior at Southgate Anderson High School. And my vision as chair for Wayne County Youth Council, a little background about myself. Some of the commissioners know me personally. I'm a community activist for public transportation all across these four counties, Wayne, Washtenaw, Oakland, and my hometown of Wayne. Uh, I do a lot of activism with the city of Detroit, Suburban Mobility Authority for Regional Transit, also advocacy groups of Transportation Riders United and Detroit People's Platform. I am a huge leader and hugely popular within these areas because I bring bullet points out to these communities to make transit better. Transit is essential for everybody and it is essential for the community but also it is essential to our community when it comes to climate change. I'm hugely involved with our climate crisis, working with local leaders in Oakland, Wayne, Macomb, and Washtenaw counties. It has got me local news interviews, be able to reach out to people on a bigger and broader basis, reach out to youth all across this county, but also get people's interpretation on what they envision this county to be when it comes to their communities and how to thrive. Me as a leader for the Wayne County Chair, I have participated in so many different activities working with local campaigns, Michael Griffey for Congress running the 13th District, Darren Camilleri for State Senate, which is actively going on right now, and also Jamie Churches for State Representative. I have done so many campaigns in my years to come. I have been working closely with our school district, being one of the top people on the superintendent's list for marketing our district uh, for our sinking fund that will be going on the ballot this November 8th. I have a lot of interest in politics and I have a lot of interest in urban development and planning and I will be graduating at the top of my class. So uh, I look forward to being your next chair and I look forward to bringing good things to the Wayne County Youth Council. Okay, and lastly for chair nominee, we have Dear Searles. Okay. Good evening, my name is Deara Searles and I am a three-year member of the Wayne County Commission Youth Council. I am seeking your vote to serve as chair of the WCCYC because I am committed to service, leadership, and uplifting my community. As a member of the WCCYC, I was previously elected to serve as parliamentarian the first year the council was founded. And last year I served as vice chair where I was tasked with leading meetings as when the chair was absent. I'm active in my community and I'm always seeking opportunities to further cultivate my leadership potential while helping others around me. Slow down. Currently, I am a member of the Detroit Urban League Co College Club, Girl Scouts, a Wayne State University Math Corps as a teaching assistant, and the Jack and Jill Youth of America Club. I have led several community service projects in my community and I am very prepared to lead and facilitate, facilitate meetings. I am a graduating senior from Cass Technical High School and my current curriculum is Cambio. If elected as chair, I promise to provide timely, effective communication, pursue opportunities for collaboration, and additional opportunities for WCC members to volunteer in the community. 
I am polished, poised, and prepared to serve. Vote Diara serves for chair. Thank you. Okay. Next. Oh, uh, so that this was is it. where we Yep, for vice chair. That was that was it. Excellent job, everyone. I just um I'm just proud of all of you for stepping up and um you uh made great speeches about why you are the best candidate. Um and I just want to say that you're all winners because you stepped up. You know, you can't win if you're not in the game. And so for those that stepped up for the chair sheet, I just, uh, excuse me, uh, chair position, I commend you on that. You know, you, you're all winners. I want to say that first. Um, so what we'll do is start from the, for the, uh, the first um, person, and then only vote for one. That's all you can vote for. Uh, you have four different candidates. We're gonna say their name and then you're gonna raise your hand. Everyone knows how to raise their hand in Zoom, right? Okay, you don't need to say anything. All you need to do is raise your hand in Zoom only for one person. You only get one vote for chair. So if you want somebody at towards the, you know, the, the end of the list, then you gotta wait to vote on them. You can't vote for more than one. Uh, is there any questions about voting for the chair? All right. Yes, is this a, All right. Is this a button on Zoom or can I just turn my camera on and raise my hand? Uh, you don't uh, need to you don't, right? You can raise your hand in the Zoom. We have the ability, right, to raise your hand. Uh, yeah. I, it's an icon. icon. You, you go I mean, to... Is there a mobile one? Is there a mobile? Oh, you're on oh. your phone? You can't... Yeah. Okay. If yes, you're you on your phone, you can just let us know who you're voting for. Just um, say it out loud. And, and your name, and and then we'll we'll know that you're voting for that person, okay? Say, so I'm, you know, whatever your name is, I'm voting for this person when we get to their name. If you're not voting for the person, you don't need to say a thing. So you raise your hand only if you're voting for the person. If you're not voting for the person, you don't need to do a thing. If you're on the phone, you say, yes, I'm voting for that person. And then we'll, we'll take, uh, take that as a vote. Any questions? Can we say it in the chat or out loud? If you're on the phone, if you're on the phone and, mm -hmm. and we can't see your hand or your face, then well, we, we're looking for hands. Okay, only in in the chat where it says raise hands. Do do you all know? I'm not talking about like physically raise your hand. I meant in the chat, raise your hand. Can everybody get to the chat to raise your hand in the chat? Everybody can, right? Okay. So we will count the hands in the chat. Okay, I see hands raised, put them down. We will count the hands in the chat room once we call that person's name. If you do not want to vote for them, do not raise your hand. We're gonna call each person's name, only raise your hand in the chat, or if we cannot hear you in the chat, then you can speak up in, and say who you want to vote for. All right, is that clear? Any questions? All right, great. Go right ahead, Nairobia, with the first name, and then you can vote from here. 
Okay, the first person will be Thomas Besick. You're going to raise your hand if that's who you want to vote for. Okay, and is there anyone who is on a phone and they are not able to raise their hand for this vote? If not, I will move on to the next one. Okay. The next person we have is Kavya Kashmurthy. Okay, and is there anyone who is not able to raise their hand and wants to vote? Out loud, no? Okay. The next person we have is Robert Powalski. Okay. And then the next person we have okay. is- I'll vote for Robert McKenna Franjo. Okay, so got you. And then the last person we have is Dear Searles. I'll also vote for Dear Searles. Um, if you guys had your hand up on the last one. <laughs> oh wait, okay. So these are all votes for Dear right here, just to clarify. Okay. All right, then. I believe that's everyone. Um, one. Okay. Um, do you want me to just announce? Yes. You the, can. My, okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So going in order of the amount of votes. You you don't need just just the winner. Uh, well, the, okay. the chair. Yep, that's all we need to know now. <laughs> okay, well, the winner for chair is Dear Searles. All right, congratulations. Thank you, everyone. All right, so Madam Chair, I am going to turn over the rest of the elections to you as the chair. Um, of course, Nairobi will be here to assist you with the elections process uh, of your vice chairperson. And we'll do the same way that we did for the chair. So you can um, uh, direct this election from here. Go right ahead. Congratulations. Um, thank you. So now we're starting the elections for vice chair. So it's Man Manub and Zion. So we got, it's just two. So Manub, can you do your speech? Yeah. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. So, hi members of the Wayne County Community Youth Council. My name is Mani Mahmood and this is my second year on the council. I go to Cannon High School and I'm a part of Melissa Dobbs D District 10. I wanna be your vice chair for this term because I believe that I have the experience and qualities to further this council to do even greater things than we have in the past. I'm very committed to this council for several, several reasons. I've always been interested in our county's government and its politics and policies that surround our daily lives. I had almost perfect attendance for meetings in the last term and worked closely with the board members from last year to help write the resolution on gun violence, and I received a reward from my school's district board and spoke about the resolution alongside Kavya, hopefully getting it to a higher government power. I do many other things outside of the council. For example, I'm president of my school's key club and I'm on the varsity debate team where we do bill writing and argue about certain topics that affect our country, showing my firsthand experience and interest in what we do. Also, I'm showing that I'm a good public speaker and I'm not shy to advocate and use my voice to speak about what's right. I'm also a part of National Honor Society and I tutor children in Detroit every Wednesday, showing my dedication towards the youth of our county. I've also worked in my local Coney Island for nine months, dedicating 20 hours a week to work. 
Working in customer service has given, given me a lot of helpful speaking skills. I did all of this while maintaining a 4.6 GPA my entire junior year in my school's pre-college pro program and making the dean's list every semester of high school. I'm very committed and can help lead and, assi and assist my fellow members with anything that they may need. With all these experiences and opportunities, I've learned a lot since freshman year of high school. And now as a senior, I hope to leave a wonderful legacy on this council. I promise to give my all to make this term amazing, and I hope that you vote for me as this year's vice chair. Thank you. Thank you. And our next candidate for vice chair is Zion McCann. Hello, everyone. My name is Zion McCann. I am a junior at Cass Technical High School. In addition to being a second year member of the council, I am involved in many activities in and outside of school, including Cass Tech Girls Golf Team serving as JV captain, Social Equity Club serving as community service chair, Pros of Promise Foundation, Ivy Letts, Class of 2024 Executive Board, and much more. Although that seems like a lot, I have amazing time management, focus, and delegation skills, which is why I believe I would be an amazing vice chair. Not only was I an active member last year, but I want to improve my community. My efforts and a community involvement supports in my supports the vision of Wayne County Commission Youth Council, which allows high school students to pursue community, state, and national level problems that directly impact our generation. As a future change maker, this opportunity to serve my community will support my future aspirations as I continue to grow and evolve to become a productive, working, and active member in Wayne County. Thank you. So now we will cast our votes. So you guys know to raise your hands. So, oh, okay, Shikari, you could. Okay, so our next candidate is Shikari for me. You can um, give your speech. Hey guys, sorry. Uh, good evening. Uh, my name is Shakari Pony Brown. I'm a senior at the school at Mary Grove, and uh, I'm a returning member. And I'm running for vice chair because I know that my experience and my character will really allow me to contribute the most to this committee um, as vice chair. Um, outside of the WCCYC, I'm involved in many extracurriculars, most of which require me to be an excellent communicator, cooperator, and organizer. Um, some, of the, some of the organizations I'm involved with are uh, Human Flyers, Global Glow, Trio Upper Bound, and um, uh, Human Flyers, for example, is an organization that um, sends out teams and uh, connects them with the community and pushes speak closely with community members and uh, Global Glow is an organization that consists of me and a small group of girls in my school and we mostly uh, organize uh, fundraisers, fundraisers and events that go toward helping uh, young people, specifically uh, young girls and young girls that not only go to my school but young girls that go that live in our community because um, a lot of young girls are deprived of resources that will help aid them with uh, academics and their mental health and other issues that many young people face today. Um, uh, other than that, I've been involved with uh, many clubs in my school that required me to take up a leadership position. Uh, last year, I helped organize the student council debate, and I also helped come up with the structure for our student council because the school at Mary Grove is a new school. and that wasn't available to us before. Um, I've also helped plan and run other debates and or not other debates, but other events at my school. And um, I'm a people person. I'm an excellent communicator. Uh, I'm on top of things. And uh, I know that these traits will aid me in being registered. Uh, thank you for considering me. Thank you, Shakari. Now we will cast our votes. So we'll just go in order of how you present it. So if you want to vote for Mani, you can raise your hand or come off of mute. Okay, and 
And is there anyone else that wants to vote or come off of mute? Okay, you can go on to Zion now. Okay, Zion, is there anyone that wants to vote for Zion? Can you raise your hand or come off of mute? I want to make it clear I'll vote for Zion for vice chair. Mm-hmm. Okay. I thought those are the votes for Zion. Moving on, um, if anyone wants to vote for Shikari, can you raise your hand or come off of mute? I will vote for Shikari. I vote for Shikari. Okay. So okay. Uh, oh, so our vice chair this year will be Zion McCann. Congratulations. Congratulations. Zion. Congratulations. Thank you. I'm sorry my phone failed, but thank you. Okay, right. so now we're moving on to secretary. Yes. Did anyone run for secretary? Uh, it was just uh, one person. So by default, um, Mr. Kumar, right? Yeah, uh, it's Narendra Kumar. That's like my full last name. Oh, is it Narendra? Did you? Yeah, Ooh. Narendra Kumar. Okay. All right. Well, by default, um, looks like you are our 2022-23 secretary. Madam Chair, go, go right ahead. Congratulations. And Thank you. now we're moving on to social media chair. I believe there's two candidates. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we'll start with Karis Robinson. You can give your speech. Hi, my name is Karis Robinson Larsosa, and my speech may be a little under two minutes, but um, I'm just going to speak from the heart to you all. Um, so I would like to run for social media chair um, because one, I am very involved in social media. Um, so on Instagram, I am a social media influencer and I also create content on YouTube. So on Instagram, I share an account with my two sisters. Their names are Katie and Clear. And we have over 260,000 followers on the platform currently. And we use our platform to try to inspire Black girls. So what I plan to do um, with the page for the um, Wayne County Youth Council is to also not include um, just generic posts, but also incorporate like fun things to do along with the page. For example, I would like us to be able to do TikToks if we can, um, and just more things to bring new supporters to the page, as well as be able to express ourselves. Because for me, social media was a place for me to express myself um, throughout my years, I have been a very quiet person. And so it was about um, a time in sixth grade where I started to see a lot of people begin to express themselves through social media and YouTube. And I'm like, I would like to start a page. I want to do that. And so I told my mom and she's like, um, you should also um, include your two little sisters in there. And now we've grown our page and platform and our videos have gone viral and everything. And I'm here now. And since I've gained success um, in social media and everything, and I've also been on commercials, billboards, um, me and my family have recently been featured in a Verizon commercial. And I am also featured in DPSCD billboards. So yeah, since I've experienced all that success, I like to extend that to everyone of you all in the council. 
So thank you. I hope you consider me for a social media chair. Thank you, Karis. And now McKenna would like to give your speech. Um, hi there. I also do not have a speech prepared, but uh, here goes. Hi, my name is McKenna Taranjo. Um, I'm running for the social media chair position. Uh, so on TikTok, I have garnered around 30,000 followers. I've had a weight loss transformation. I lost around 40 pounds and I am now an amateur bodybuilder. Um, in my school leadership program last year uh, and this year now, uh, not this year, I'm sorry. Last year I am, was the president of student council and this year I am a general member because we are not having an e-board. Um, yeah, and I really, I was a social media chair last year and I loved it. I love taking pictures I have experienced in the editing. And it was awesome just to cap capture everyone and their true emotions, having fun, smiles on their faces, and I loved it. Um, yeah. And that's really all I have. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, McKenna. So now we'll cast our votes. So if you vote for Karis, could you raise your hand or come off of mute? Um, I would like to raise my my name's Q. Okay, and that if that's all, we can now vote for McKenna. So if you vote, want to cast your vote for McKenna, you can raise your hand or come off of mute. I'd like to cast my vote for McKenna. This is Robert Pulaski. Okay. Well, that's eight votes for McKenna. So McKenna will be our social media chair this year. Congratulations, McKenna. Thank you guys so much. Um, honestly, I'm so excited to capture all of you guys in your true emotions. <laughs> all right. Uh, Madam Chair, we will, we've uh, taken care of the election. So one again, more thing. Per, congratulations. Oh, sure. Go ahead. We didn't pick a chaplain for this year or is it open and invocation? Right. So, right. We will um, look at that uh, down the line. We can't have an official chaplain. So, okay. Uh, we're, we're, we all do that this year okay all right um so madam chair um we completed the elections uh oh the one thing i did want to mention before you go on uh, and we're wrapping up our meeting we try to get in and out of our meetings uh within an hour and a half or a little over because this is our first meeting, but I do want to introduce our staff uh, attorney for the Wayne County Commission. She will uh, be in our meetings and or have someone uh, from our, uh, our council, our general council in our meetings to make sure that uh, everything is uh, running efficiently and effectively and uh, that we're um, uh, abiding by all of the, the rules. Uh, Felicia Johnson, are you on the uh, Zoom line call? I am. Okay. So Good evening, you, everyone. Can you just introduce yourself very briefly and tell them a little bit about what you and your team does? Yes. Yeah, so good evening, everyone. My name is Felicia Johnson. I am the attorney for the county commission. We have um, three attorneys and one paralegal. Someone will always attend your meetings. If you have any questions with regards to process, procedure, um, social media postings, et cetera, we are here to assist you. 
Um, again, we're the attorneys for the commission, so we handle all the legal matters. Congratulations to you all, and I look forward to working with you. Thank you so much, Felicia, uh, Ms. Johnson, for uh, attending the meeting and all of your advice and direction. Um, we really appreciate you. All right. Um, all right, Madam Chair, I just wanted to make sure I said that. And the last thing I will say, and then I will let you have the meeting, is that we will have a special meeting before our next meeting. Again, as I talked about, our meetings are held usually once a month, but because we are preparing uh, for our advocacy trip that uh, is going to be in November, we want to have a, a meeting, a special session with Wayne State University. That session will basically help us to understand um, our, the resolution, which by the way, uh, will be sent to all of the new members. Uh, the 2021-2022 um, uh, members voted on a resolution uh, to reform gun violence. And what they committed to last year is to try to push for the items, the things that were in that resolution uh, basically, the changes that they want to see happen, uh, we want to make sure that they do happen. And so we're going to actually go to Lansing and do what they call lobbying. And that's pushing elected officials in government to do something that you want them to do. So Wayne State, their Department of Social Work uh, will have a session for us, a special session on the Wayne uh, State campus where we will and they will talk about um, the whole process of lobbying and how they do what they do. Uh, and that's going to be on October 21st. So I want you to mark your calendars. Uh, we do not provide the transportation to special meetings um, uh, and the majority of our meetings there, is, we don't have transportation, but what we do is try to help coordinate. Maybe someone is in your area, um, you know, we can try to work that out so you guys can kind of carpool or um, uh, give advance notice so that your parents know when we're meeting so that they can uh, try to help uh, accommodate you in getting to the meetings. So October 21st from 5.30 to 7.30 on Wayne State campus, we will give you the details of the exact location um, uh, very, very soon within the, in the next week or so, uh, you will have the, the location on campus. But all of you know that Wayne State is located in Detroit, uh, so it is going to be on the campus of Wayne State in Detroit on October 21st. Are there any questions in reference to this uh, upcoming event and meeting? And then you also have the list of other dates and uh, we will talk more about the Advocacy Day in Lansing on the 21st as well. And then we're going to have a, a meeting with your parents to talk about that uh, trip to Lansing. Um, and I think that was all, unless there's questions. And I'm going to say congratulations again to all of the new members to all of uh, the new um, chair, the new chair, the vice chair, uh, secretary and social media. Uh, I know that you're gonna do a fabulous job and I just look forward to working with all of you. And I do see a hand raised, uh, Ms. Henderson, member Henderson, you had a question? 
Yes, yes, I did. Hi. Yeah. Um, it was just um a really quick comment. Um, very really, really quickly. Sure. Um, um, first, I just want to say, oh, first, hello again, my name is Rachel. Um, I just want to say, um, I want to say thank you for all of you, just for, of course, taking the lead. And it's really nice to be in a group where all of us are alike and we all have um, the wanting to change our communities. And I really appreciate being part of a group that um, all share really the same things that I'm passionate about. And all of you who were elected, please, like, it's applause, truly. And again, thank you. And I can't wait to learn a lot of stuff from all of you. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you. And uh, Mr. Uh, Palowski, did you have a Lowski? Yes, uh, just to piggyback on Member Henderson's point, I just want to say thank you for the amount of leadership this entire group has dedicated to putting forth a change in their community. One of the reasons why I took this is because I want to be a leader for Downriver. And I just, I feel honored and a pleasure to be here with everybody from all across Wayne County to work together to make our community safer, but also to make our community to the future. And I also want to congratulate our chair, our secretary, our social media chair, and our vice chair. You guys are really good people for the positions, and I look forward to working with you very soon. Thank you so much. Thank you for that. Um, I think you're all just dynamic and that we have a, another awesome group of young people that are looking to change things for the better in not only Wayne County, but in the world. So I thank you all and appreciate you all for participating uh, in the Wayne County Commission Youth Council. So with that, I am going to sign off um, the uh, president or chair uh, can take over from here. Um, you still need to do public comments. Uh, oh, member announcements, any new business, which is not anything uh, new that we need to discuss today, but uh, if you all want to stay on and discuss anything else, you can. Um, you do need to take a formal vote um, to adjourn the meeting. But other than that, thank you so much, uh, Nairobi. Thank you. And I'm going to sign off. Good night. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Good night. Um, so the Good next night. item on the agenda is announcements by members. Are there any announcements? Madam Chair, I have some announcements I'd like to make. Okay, go ahead. Thank you very much. So as my admission into the Wayne County Youth Council, my objective is to get you guys more involved with your community. I know I'm just a member, but as I stated before, I'm very involved with public transportation. And I would like to get you guys more involved with my organizations and get you guys hopefully to a career path that you guys want to stick on. A lot of the members here, I'm not sure where your uh, career path is, but, you know, there are a lot of opportunities in politics, urban development, climate change. And I look forward to bringing in speakers under Commissioner McCormick's, uh, Baker McCormick, my apologies, leadership and hopefully bring in some speakers to give you education on what we do on a day to day basis, reaching out to the community. So I want to put out a couple town halls representing Transportation Riders United, which is my organization. We have uh, what we're doing right now is a smart millage campaign to educate people on the millage. It's a, about a four-year millage that we go to renew our public transportation system in our three counties. And we're doing advocacy work and hopefully to bring more youth into our uh, organization. We currently have one from Waterford Township in Oakland. I'm hoping to bring some from Wayne County because we need those voices. So we have virtual town hall transit. Uh, we have transit town halls planned for October 9th, 6 p.m. on Zoom. I'd be happy to email those all across the council. And we also have a town hall in Sterling Heights, October 17th. The location is still to be determined. So if you guys are interested, feel free to shoot me an email. I'd be happy to get you involved with our executive director with any questions or any interest that you might have. So, but I will send that information around if you are interested. Those are my announcements, Madam Chair.
Thank you, Robert. Um, if those are the only announcements. I'm just going to reiterate that our next meeting is October 21st from 5.30 to 7.30 at Wayne State. Um, and our next item is public comments. Are there any public comments? No emails were received. Okay, thank you. And now our next order is adjournment. Do I have a motion to adjourn this meeting? I'll make that motion. Robert Pulaski. I second that thank motion. you. Um, all in favor, say aye. 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 All opposed? So before you adjourn, Madam Chair, you should also call for comments for anybody who may be on the line who may want to make public comments. Oh, okay. Thank you. Um, are there anyone, is there anyone on the line who would like to make a public comment? Okay. So now I make a motion. Does anyone, do I have a motion to adjourn this meeting? Yes, I think I see that. Yes, motion to adjourn. Um, all in favor say aye. 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 All opposed. All opposed. Um, this meeting is adjourned. Thank you. See you guys in October. Bye, everyone. See you then. All right. You Bye. guys have a great night. Thank you, everyone. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. Bye.